All right, uh, welcome back to Legend of Zelda, a scrap to a past. Um, this is going to be a little bit nostalgic, I guess, because um, it's just me and Scrappy today, so it's going to be, I guess, like Zelda 2 again. I think I, I think Jason's doing uh, birthday stuff with uh, his sister, so. So we're in the uh, Desert Palace. Zelda 2, oh, oh my. <laughs> I'm getting some flashbacks of that. Yeah. That was like the only game we did where it was just us, wasn't it? Um, yes. Mm. But I really, I was with you in spirit when you did Sonic 06. <laughs> oh man, that feels like a, that feels like a decade ago. Sonic 06 goes up to people. Yeah. So, Desert Palace, what were you we looking for her? Let's see. You've already headed to the statue, right? Yeah, you're already there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you should make... <clears throat> well, you were supposed to take the first... Yeah, excuse me. When you were in the first room with the levers and the BMOs, you were supposed to make your way toward the BMOs and then take the pathway to the left. Oh, okay. So all the way over here, or...? A red devalent blocks your path. <laughs> Deliver two sword slashes, or one hit from an arrow to defeat this enemy. Is it, left us... is it these things? Like, these things are coming out of the ground? Like... Sand traps, I believe so. Mm. Um, let's see. Just continue left of the screen, and then head up through the open door. A small key can, fe can be found at the top left part of the screen. Mm. Much like when you acquired the Book of Moldora, Mudora, excuse me, simply dash, simply dash into the torch and then a small key will drop. Collect it and then exit the room. Hmm. I found something here. Oh wait, I think this might be where a heart piece is. Okay, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> yep. That might be the only one. Uh, I could be wrong. Let's just make sure. Oh, I can't get in there. Something tells me we're gonna have to backtrack. Wait, can I dash? You only find one heart piece in this uh, the, 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 the palace. Alright. I was thinking you could dash up the stairs. Oh yeah, you can do that, but it doesn't really make it much faster. Uh, push any of these. Uh. Yep. Alright. Can I kill the Beamos? Um. Oh, okay, I had that. Probably a projectile. Maybe. Oh, shoots out right, fast. I right, no. can't hear any music. Oh, you can't? No. Hold on a second. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I couldn't hear the music. Yep. Alright, so uh, where are we heading? Scarby? Left and then head up through the open door. No, 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 no. This one? It was the other open door. Oh. Ah, oh, I love the roof counter effect. Yeah. Oh, I get hurt by just touching it. What's in here? Ooh! Uh, we can't even get this, though. No, you need the key for that. The big key. Uh, I like that they uh, made that separate in the other games, like the, um... The, uh, dungeon item and the, uh, boss key, or whatever. Uh, 
Never failed to find all the treasures in each dungeon. Yep, we're gonna try. If this thing doesn't kill us first. There you got the key. Small key. Yep. Collect and then exit the room. Dash to the right, two screens over, and then head down another screen. Oh. Uh, by two screens, I'm assuming it means when it does that little fade Scroll. thing. Scrolling, yeah. Yeah. Yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I promise when we get to the 3D games, I won't need to use a guide so much, but I I'm terrible at memorizing the 2D ones. Oh my goodness. So I've only really played like half of this game. Because I always get stuck in the uh Second half. I got really lucky there. <laughs> Alright. So we're just getting the uh, I uh, dungeon item, and then... Is that it, or...? Turrets on the sides of the room that will shoot balls out towards Link. Avoid the falls and collect the big key from the treasure chest in this room. Hmm. Oh, what's power glove? You can feel the strength in both hands. You can pick up and carry stones now. Alright, so we can do... I feel like we can do quite a lot from the... actually. It's all out of the rocket box. Go down... Go back down a screen, right a screen. Continue down a screen and left the screen, avoiding the enemies along the way. Are we going back outside again? Uh, exit the first half of the dungeon to the south, south to get back outside. Alright. Yeah? While outside, walk southward along the left side of the ledge. We're gonna be able to get piece of heart number eight. Haven't we already done that? Mm. Well, I wanna I know think... what's in here. <clears throat> or the dungeon name. Push the block downward the bottom block downward to open up open the door. Avoid the flying tiles by hiding inside the entrance. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. Is it, I like they brought this back in um, Ocarina of Time as well. Yeah, this might go on for a while. Alternatively, you can just grab the key that is underneath the pot at the bottom left part of the room and quickly go through the locked door. Yeah. I'm low on hearts. So. I can I can refill, but I don't want to waste it yet. It will stop eventually. Yeah, I think the music seems to go out when you stop talking. Uh, that's fine. Not for me. <laughs> I like how it stops as uh, like a skull face. All right. There's another room filled with a Beemos and a series of Popo. Defeat the Popo oh, and then head right. Defeat the Popo and then head right to the door that opens. This large room has several more Popo and some Beemos. Halfway right. through the room, there's a series of pots for Link to, for Link to lift. The second pot from the right holds a small key. Grab it and head through the door ahead. Do I need to do anything about the uh, little torch things? Doesn't say anything about that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was knocked back in a half. Oh my goodness, no! Uh, these Yikes. guys suck.
Yeah. Second pot, right? Hold the piece. There we go. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with the other stuff. There is another flying tile room. This yeah. time the key is underneath the pot in the top right corner. Uh, okay. I'm just going to wait. Defeat the red eye gourd that is in the next room and pull out the lamp. Hmm. So how do I fight the boss exactly? The land, the boss start off underground, you'll see the ground shaking before they come up. Once the boss pops up, once one of the bosses pops up from the underground, it'll shoot four rocks out, each moving diagonally in different directions. Hmm. Ah, I want hearts. When the Lanmala is out of the ground, it is vulnerable at its head. Then can use his sword to slash the enemy before it burrows back underground. While a bit more difficult, while a bit more difficult, a well-timed arrow will also work well. The most effective way to defeat these enemies through these enemies, though, is to use the ice rod. However, mm. much like the arrow, it requires great accuracy and timing. Can I not kill these guys with the uh, thing? Oh, never mind. I just do it normally. I don't like the little wind-up thing with the arrows, just screw it. It's gonna screw me up. Uh, it's like the, see, the uh, button in Luigi's Mansion. You just make the wall go all the way to the side. Oh, this guy! Welcome to the first boss of the game. Okay, I remember this bus really sucking. <laughs> Ow. Aim for the head. Yeah. We technically, well, we had the uh, bus before with the um, giant Armos things, but yeah. Like, it's really annoying to hit this guy, I find. Is there any easier way to do this? No. Unless you want to use the ice rod. Hmm. I can try that. Because, like, trying to get close to this guy is just really annoying. Because most of the time I just get hit. Ugh. I'm not doing well. And there's like three of them. How did that even hurt me? Come on. Yeah, we're... At the very least, I know where some furries are if I die. Wow. Oh no, I'm getting hit by the uh, rocks that are coming out. Alright. Uh, it's gonna be a s skin of the teeth victory. If this works. I shouldn't do that. They have so many, so much health as well. That's the thing. <laughs> this is all the, all they do, but it's still nerve wracking. Yeah, this boss has way too much health. Ow. This is really bad. I hate it when ads play randomly when you haven't gone to them. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Just die! Stop prolonging this. Alright, that's There one. we go. That's one. The other guy should be close to death as well. Reminder <laughs> when the last 
When the last one, when you're down to the last one, it will start shooting eight rocks. Oh my goodness. Sounds nasty. Alright. I can't see. Ugh. Eight rocks diagonally, vertically, and horizontally. Oh jeez. <laughs> No! Goodness gracious. Okay, okay. A few more. No, no, no! Ugh. Oh, stop doing that. Let me get... get hit in. Nope. Yes! Oh. There we go. Oh. oh. Wow. I should not be feeling this tense on the second boss. Ugh. Man. See, it's not- So triumphant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not even that hard once you know, like, about the rocks, because they... I, I... I didn't even notice them, so... So once you know that, then it's easy. You can't, like, refight bosses in this game, can you? I don't think so. No. So basically, you can go back into the dungeon, but they won't... there will be nothing there. Yeah. Alright, uh, so we got, um, the power glove thing, so I assume we can do some stuff. Yeah, so where heavy we... rock. Yeah? <sighs> Alright, congratulations, you have defeated, or rather conquered, the Eastern Palace. Yay! The Desert Palace, not the Eastern Desert Palace. And we got one more pendant to get. Man, this game's almost over. <laughs> uh, man. Man. I, I'd imagine that, um, kids, like, or like, play, playing the game for the first time, you'd think it would be like... Oh, it's coming to a close. Like, or whatever. But nope. We now be careful. If you knock over, if you pick up some of those rocks, you might find a wild Geodude. <laughs> Okay, where to next? I've been meaning to replay Pokemon Stadium, actually. I need to get, like, a working, a, uh, good emulator or something, because my N64 doesn't work. Um, but now go on. I need to know the guide. Uh, Link has acquired the Power Glove. There are several new goodies for us to collect, including a part, a pair of heart pieces, and the Zora's Flippers. You'll need to have acquired 500 rupees in order to purchase the Flippers. Okay, we're way on- we- we got a lot then. We- we're- we're good. So where are we what? heading first? Go back to Link's house. Alright, let's up here then. I should probably, like, find a potion or a fairy or something while we're around. Maybe it's a cut the grass. Uh. Alright, so where are we heading from here? Let's see, head east and then north across the bridge. Right. Uh, is east left or right? I always forget. Right. Okay. <laughs> I just keep heading right. Bridge, continue walking north for two more screens, and then head east to reach the potion shop once again. Okay. Uh. And once you're at the potion shop, head east to that, and you'll see a large boulder that Link can pick up. Ah. When, when there's like more than one enemy trying to cut you down, it becomes a mess sometimes. It's not Zelda too bad, but. Are you going up? Ugh, I can't get the screen. 
Oh, my. My screen was closed out. Did you get to the potion shop yet? No. Am I heading in the right direction, though? Should be. Nice. Oh, that's a one-hit kill. Nice. At least for that guy. I feel like I swear we went in there before. Oh, it might be for a fairy fountain. I kind of need that. I don't. Want, I don't want a big fairy. I need uh, little ones. You know. Nope. Okay. Never mind. This is where the fairy fountain theme came and debuted. I think. Mm -hmm. It's the first game I can think of that has it. I don't think it was in Zelda 2. It wasn't in Zelda 1. Actually, were f Actually, yeah, fairies were in Zelda 2. Were they? Fairies, yes. Oh, I okay. just played. I might fall of myself. Mm. We played this game. How can we? How can we can't remember? Uh -huh. uh, well, it was a few years ago, and I don't remember that much besides like dying a lot. Two years wasn't that long. Wait, it was only two years ago. It's like uh, well, I joined in like September of 2016. Oh wow! It doesn't feel like that. It feels like it was like 2015. Trying to repress the memories. Yeah, well, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, hi. Like, uh, it's, uh, it wasn't as, uh, like, far, far away as I thought it was. Because, like, when I started, um, uh, Mario Bros. DS, um, it felt like when I did 64, that was, like, two or three years ago, but it was actually just one year ago. And it, it just doesn't feel like it. Rats! Wait, why are rats carrying rupees? Mm -mm. Well, they carry uh, keys in Phantom Hourglass. <laughs> Alright, so, uh. We got some walls to break. We are. This is the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you can do that. I don't think you can bash every uh, breakable wall like that. But it's best to try that just so, just to save bombs. Nice. Yeah, you've reached your limit now. Yeah. I'll try not to get too many rupees now because it's going to be a waste. If I can know which treasure chests have that, I guess. Alright, let's just get out of this place. Because we're just in the castle. Why are so many rats? They really need to pl clean this castle out, like, jeez. Cool. Hi, guys. All that nonsense just to see her again. And I'm running out. <laughs> uh. Alright. So, wait, where's right. the potion? Thing. If we are still gonna go for that. Continue walking. Alright, from Link's house, head to east and then north across the bridge. So. Oh, magic shot. That might be it. For some reason, I didn't think I could go over here. Oh, it's this place. 
Right, that's not the potion shop. Wait, no, it's not it. Isn't it? No, the, no, it's the magic shop. The potion shop is somewhere else. Oh. Let's just head back to Link's house and retrace our steps. Yeah. Sorry about this, guys. Yeah, that's fine. Go. Cool. Well, we, at least we found the secret stash. You just robbed the castle, I just realized that. Yeah. Eastern Palace, Ohio Castle. <laughs> I can't believe I showed it that. Okay, you just crossed the... Wait, one second. No. Okay, you crossed a bridge, so... You walk north for two more screens and then head east. Shop again. Yeah. What's going on? Hmm. Well, are we just trying to get like potions, right? Or, or is there something else we want? We should like to get the Zora. The Zora's flipper should be how uh, that's what we're trying to get. Oh. Oh wait. Wait, wait. There it is. Take off the. Get rid of the boulder. Oh wait, I can do these as well. Oh, I thought I could only lift the small rocks. Right. There we go, now. Right, head east, toss out the way and then head eastward. Alright, uh... Hmm. Uh, should we go for blue? Blue what? Blue potion. If you want. Yeah, we... Kinda need to use up some rupees anyway. Alright, why don't you remove the big boulder, head eastward. Uh. <laughs> oh, I, I really hate it when, they, when the game does that. It's just a cheap shot. Like, imagine if I was on one heart. Alright. I can't pick up these though, right? Uh, nope. Head up along the right side. We're going up here. Ooh, okay. I always get paranoid by flying enemies in these games. You can't really tell where the hitboxes are. Okay. Experiences has taught me to not trust these crabs. So, I'm gonna try and be careful about this. Can I kill them up here? Ugh. That's one. Okay, cool. Let's see. No, no, no. Head up right, right. Oh, hear the water sound effects. Oh my goodness, so many of them. Still ugly. Yeah. And this is a prequel, technically. Oh. Yeah, they were like really pretty in Ocarina of Time, and they got ugly for this. Yeah. You could argue, I guess, that they're different species of Zora. So I think I I think these are like River Zora 
and the uh, ones in Ocarina of Time and all that are Ocean Zora. Those are the Lake Zora. Hmm. I guess you could argue like just crap happened between the Zora and the Hylians between Ocarina and, and the Link to the Past. Long story short, Zelda lore is a is a mess. Yeah. Fun mess. Though. I'm gonna stop trying to dash. It's not gonna help me. So many of these guys. Where are you supposed to be? Once you start heading eastward, the water pathway will split. Take the southernmost pathway and head eastward. All right. Just backtrack a little bit, huh? Oh, this might be it. Make your way to the northeast corner of the waterfall and you will meet the King Zora. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is it. Yay! The only one that doesn't try and kill us. Still really expensive. I will let you use the magic waterways of the Link Lakes and those things. That's gonna be a t the ticket to gain some shortcuts. But now we can go into the world without dying or losing hearts. Link finally learned how to swim. Yay! Yeah. 